All right, so this is the current state of our rogue game. Now, as you can see, when we go into our walls, there's no collision detecting. So that's what we're going to work on in this tutorial. So we're going to do some work in our handle input. What we're going to do is before we call our player move, we're going to call a function called check position and so that will just check if it's a wall if it's a monster if it's gold uh, check and see it, what what to do so in order to do that we're first going to add two integers we call it new y and int new x then instead of calling this player move function as we did in the last one what we're just going to do is we're going to say new y equals user position minus one. So the same, same idea. And new x equals user position x position. Uh, and then we do not call player move. So we'll just copy and paste this into all these cases. Uh, so then we'll just adjust these all accordingly. Last one, just change that to a plus. Okay, so now when we're done our switch statement, this is where we'll call our new function check position. And we will pass it our new y our new x and our user. So then we will add this function in down here. So int check position and int new y int new x player pointer user. Um, actually, we're not going to call this one user because Ideally, what we'll do is make this, uh, we're going to have monsters on the game board, and they're going to be moving around, but we're going to want to check where they go before. So I, we'll just call it unit instead of user. I don't know. Not really a big, big deal, but I mean, it is type player, so maybe we should actually just, uh, you know, we'll just call it user for now. Um, yeah, that's good for now. Okay, so then we need this definition up top as well. And we'll start writing this function. So we're all we're gonna use another switch statement. So switch. Now what we're going to switch on, uh, declare an int of called space. Now what we're going to do is we're going to want to find out. So uh, right here, we're just above this wall here. Now when I hit S, we're going to want to find out what's right here. We're going to find out if, if that's a dot, then we can move there. If that's a wall, then we can't. So there's a, um, there's a function in n curses 
and cursors and cursors uh, that we can call and I just forget it right now so I'm just gonna check here uh, so move inch move in ch okay so our switch statement is going to be that function call move in ch and that's going to return uh, oh and it has to be take new y new x as the arguments so what that's going to do is so like in the case here when i hit a the new y and new x are going to be set to what's right here uh, but our guy won't have moved yet so then we can call this move inch function and pass it the new y and the new x and it will go right here and say what is this and we'll return it as a character so in the case of it being a dot well that's okay we can move so in that case what we're going to do is we're going to call our player move function player move, pass it the new y, new x, and the user. And that will move the our, our player. Break, but if it's not, then we're gonna wanna do something else. If it's gold, we're gonna wanna, you know, first increase our gold inventory and then move the player. Uh, if it's a monster, we're gonna to wanna to fight the monster and find out if we first kill the monster before moving, things like that. So, this should, uh, this should work for now. We're not gonna deal with the gold and monsters quite yet. Um, just add a comment check where what is at next position so let's see if that's working Recompile it. So fingers crossed here, when I hit D, we shouldn't move. Okay, now we didn't move. Um, but what's happening is because we're, because um, here in our check position, we're doing this move inch, oops. Um, it's moving the end cursors cursor this thing so it goes up and we don't it just looks bad So we don't want that. It's working as expected, but we don't want that. So um, In our default If we're not moving which is kind of like What we're just using for our default right now, we're just gonna move To user y position and user x position so now if we recompile that give it a run as you can see it's working all right so now we're moving around this room effectively we can't go outside of it so that's Successful. Um, next, we're going to want to start adding some monsters, gold, um, hallways, stuff like that. So we'll get to that.